Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze the simply supported beam by finding out the support reaction. So here we see the simply supported beam with the two supports. One is a hinge support represented by A and one is rural support represented by B. And there is a uniformly distributed load of 5 kN per meter acting over the length of 4 meters. The total length of the beam is 4 meter plus 4 meter plus 4 plus 4 meter. So the total length is 12 meter. Where the load is only acting at the mid portion of the beam 4 meter. So how to find out the support reaction? So here the two unknowns are RA and RB. So we have to find out the support reaction. So here there is a hinge support. So it can take the vertical load represented by A. And this is a rural support. So it can also take the vertical load. So this is RB. Hence support can also take the horizontal load, but hence there is no load, horizontal load acting on this beam. That's why the horizontal component of the hinge support is equal to zero. So now to find out the support reaction, we have to use the equilibrium equations. So one of the equilibrium equation is summation of movement at any point equal to zero, and we assume summation of movement at point A equal to zero. At this point, we take the summation of movement. So we will start from this right end from B point. So first we should know that what is movement. Movement is equal to the force multiplying it with the movement arm. So the RB force is acting here upward and we assume that the clockwise movement is will be positive and the anti-clockwise movement will be negative. So RB force is acting in upward direction here. So it will be acting in upward direction and it will create the movement about point A in the anti-clockwise direction we can see here about point A so it will be negative so it will be minus RB force multiply it with the moment arm so what is the moment arm the moment arm is the perpendicular distance from B point to A point this whole distance so it will be 4 meter plus 4 meter plus 4 meter so it will be 12 meter. Then again the force that creates a movement about point A is this 5 kN per meter. So it is acting in downward direction so it creates the movement about point A in the clockwise direction. So it will be plus because it is clockwise direction. So 5 multiplying it with the distributed length on which it is distributed. So it is 4 meter. So this is now the force. Now what is the movement? This force acts at the center here of the distributed load. So the movement arm will be distance from this point up to a point which is 4 meter here 4 meter here plus this distance what is this distance this is half of the 4 meter which is which is 2 meter so the total distance will be 2 meter plus 4 so the total distance will be 6 meter so this is the movement arm for this load so this was the all the movements about point a equal to 0 so now we shift this value onto the right side to find out the RB. So R12 RB it will become positive because, because we shift this value onto the right side. So it will become this value. If you multiply this value, it becomes 120. So now RB will become 120 dividing by 12. So we got here 10 kN. So RB value is 10 kN. It means support reaction here at this point is 10 kN. Now how to find out RA? So we can use either summation of moment at point B equal to 0 or we can use summation of vertical forces equal to 0. So let's suppose we are using this equation. So upward forces let's suppose is positive and the downward forces are negative. So what are the upward forces? RA is upward force, RB is upward force. So it will be positive RA plus RB. While this force is acting negative which is 5 kN per meter so it will be minus 5 multiplying it with the 4 because 4 is the length on which it is distributed summation of all the vertical force is equal to 0 so now if you shift this value to the right side so RE is equal to the this will become 20 minus RB so RB is known to us which is 10 kN here so RA comes out to be 20 minus 10 so RA comes out to be 10 kN so this is the way how to find out the support reaction. So RA is here is 10 kN. Now if we look to the support reaction, RA is 10 kN and RB is 10 kN. 
while the total load is acting at the center of the beam that's why the load is equally distributed into equal magnitude 10 kN and 10 kN while the total load is 5 kN multiplying it with the distance 4 which becomes 20 so 20 half load is taken at B point and half load is taken by A point so 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10 kN so that's why we got 10 kN here and 10 kN here so hope you guys understand how to find out support reactions and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily 7 engineering videos thank you for watching our video